Your body versus... Listeria. Listeria hides in many foods, from sprouts to deli meats to raw milk. 2016 saw the recall of many products, seemingly all at once, and may have caused concern for consumers, but those recalls were accomplished so quickly because of the use of a technology called PulseNet 2.0. PulseNet is a national laboratory network, and PulseNet 2.0 is cutting-edge technology known as whole genome sequencing. It will be rolled out in all 50 states within the next two years, and Listeria is the first target in its sights. Listeriosis is a serious infection usually caused by eating food contaminated with the bacterium Listeria monocytogenes. The disease primarily affects older adults, pregnant women, newborns, and adults with weakened immune systems though rarely people without these risk factors can also be affected. Almost everyone who is diagnosed with listeriosis has invasive infection, which means bacteria spread beyond the gastrointestinal tract. Symptoms of listeriosis include fever and muscle aches, sometimes preceded by diarrhea or other gastrointestinal symptoms. Confusion, loss of balance, and convulsions may also occur. Pregnant women typically experience fever and other non-specific symptoms such as fatigue and aches. Infections during pregnancy can lead to life-threatening complications. People other than pregnant women typically experience headache, stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance, and convulsions in addition to fever and muscle aches. To help protect yourself from listeriosis, try to avoid splashing water around your kitchen as much as possible. Rinse raw produce, scrub firm produce such as melons or cucumbers, separate uncooked meats and poultry from vegetables, cooked food, or ready-to-eat foods. Wash your hands, utensils, countertops, and cutting boards after handling and preparing uncooked foods. Occasionally clean inside your refrigerator, including walls and shelves, with hot soapy water. Generally, the best protection from foodborne illness is simply washing your hands before and after preparing food. For more information on all things food safety, please visit us at www.outbreakmuseum.com.